What up y'all? Welcome to Pop.Comics. I'm Jojo coming at you from the Woman Cave in Vegas. All right guys, so I have one, two, three little stacks of books I got to share with you all today and then later on in the video I'm going to be revealing my first giveaway for the PDC giveaway marathon. You know, I usually do this every hundred subscribers um, and I hit 400 a couple weeks ago. So um, I have yet to reveal my giveaways so today will be the day um all right so i have a ton of books to share so let's just get into it um before this video drags longer than it needs to be <laughs> so all right the first little stack i have is from the doom um he was having a blowout sell because he's moving so he wanted to uh, make the move a little easier and he was giving some great deals for some great books. I mean, what do you expect from the Doom? And, you know, in that video, he mentioned that he might not be doing any more videos. So I was kind of bummed about that. Um, but, you know, at the same time, I'm happy that he's reached a point in his collection where he doesn't feel like he needs more. And that's always a great point to be at. I wish more of us could be like that but I know for me I don't even know if there's that like stopping point like I don't know if there's that one book that is just gonna be it for me you know so yeah but I mean I'm so happy that he uh has has actually accomplished that and he's satisfied with his collection so that's great but all right let's get into this um first book up we got Star Wars 13 you guys know I'm a stuck a stucker, a sucker for uh, Star Wars covers. I love them, especially when they got Vader. And I mean, come on, Leia, awesome. So always, always great artwork on these covers. Um, next up, we have all new Wolverine number fourteen. This is a variant. Um, really nice. I like the moonlight, the blue, um, like haze. I love it. Uh, this, I didn't even know existed until I saw it on Doom's video, so it was just a nice pickup for me. Next up, we have All New Wolverine number 19. Also a really cool, um, cover there. Love that. Um, we got Miss Marvel, uh, number 48. Just thought this was an awesome cover of, um, Miss Marvel and, um, kind of like a mashup of Miss Marvel and Mystique. So really cool. Flames in the background, everything. So yeah, love it. Then Justice League number one, this was a Midtown exclusive uh, Terry Dodson variant. So really nice pickup. I forgot to mention, um, he was, like I said, he was, he was uh, selling these at ridiculously low prices. Um, most of them were a dollar, or all of them were a dollar, but then with shipping, they come out to like two bucks and some change shipped. So still really good. Um, this is Justice number five. Gotta love that Alex Ross art. And then last but not least for this little haul here, I got um, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one by Boom Studios. And I have to open this up for you guys because I love this wraparound cover. It is amazing. I'll open this up for you. So you can see that. Just awesome. How cool is that? I'm a huge Mighty Morphin Power Rangers fan. So this was an obvious pickup for me. And yeah, I hadn't seen it before either. So this is a Jetpack slash Forbidden Planet exclusive. So really neat. And I probably wouldn't have found it otherwise. So thanks Doom for the awesome deals and the awesome books. And I am excited to know that you are still going to be uh, around in the community uh, with the 9.2 crew. So very cool. All right, moving right along. Let's continue. Um, I won an auction from uh, it was Manny NYC's lot he was uh, auctioning off um, over over with uh, Biggies on his channel. Um, he holds some auctions every once in a while, and I just so happened to catch it that time. And Manny was selling a lot of books that I really liked. So 
let's get started with this haul. First up, we have the Flash number 133. Really nice old school uh, comic here. Uh, this one's not in the greatest condition, but I'm really not a like condition snob, especially when it comes to these older books. Um, I don't know. And I think I got, I got these for a pretty good deal too. Um, here we go. Here's a Kid Cole Outlaw number 148. I don't know too much about this, um, comic at all. Like I don't, uh, I think the art's pretty cool, but yeah, it is, I, I've never been too into the Westerns. So this will be an interesting read for sure. Um, Moving on, we have Submariner and the Incredible Hulk. This cover, oh man, this really sold me. I, I, I mean, come on, look at those eyebrows. Those are better than mine. How can you say no to this cover? <laughs> um, anyway, yeah, this is number 74, if I didn't say it already. Just gorgeous colon art. I love that old school vibe. Just the best. And, um, yeah, this one also, I think, has some water damage on top, but otherwise presents very well, I think. Just beautiful stuff right there. Um, I think I got each of these for, I think it's, I think it was like five, yeah, like five and some change for each one of these books. And including the last one, so you'll see what it is, but that one was crazy, so... Next, we have JLA, or Justice League of America, number 42. Really nice book here, too. Just, God, I just love that old historic look to these, you know? Like, uh, just amazing. Um, I love how the colors pop. The green background, like, just awesome. Um, got Metamorpho and all our favorite superheroes. Got Green Lantern over here, um, Superman, uh, Batman and the Flash down here, but yeah. So yeah, a little bit of a little, oops, my bad. All right, a little bit of a lower grade. These are like readers, but they still, like I said, they present very well. Um, and I'm definitely glad to have them. This one, oh my god, this one, the colors just pop too. Just love that. Um, Submariner, number 17. Um, I, you know, I haven't really picked up too many Submariner books, so these were, uh, just new to me. Um, very cool. I don't know too much about Namor. Um, but I just noticed he has wings on his ankles. I never seen that before. I never knew. I don't know what the story behind that is. So yeah, just a new character to me. So it'll be nice kind of, uh, looking at some of the older Namor books. Um, uh, moving on, we have Detective Comics, uh, number 413. Just classic. Oh man. <laughs> I love a little talk bubbles. Uh, take that scarecrow down now. <laughs> uh, your little game has gone far enough. So yeah, just super cool. It's super, super cool. And I always like how, um, they have the, the little characters up here. You see Batman's up here and then, uh, Batwoman or Batgirl's right there. <clears throat> Moving on, we have um, Detective Comics number 396. Um, yeah, what can I say? Just another awesome Batman cover. Um, Batman's my main dude, so really awesome to pick up these older, older books that honestly I don't find. I don't bump into these books too much out here for some reason. Um, so they're a little tougher for me to find. So yeah, when I see these auctions and um, people like Manny are selling something like this, I definitely uh, jump to a uh, bit on those. So, very cool. And then we got Defenders, number 12. Really cool. Look at that Hulk. Look at him. Damn, so cool. I love that. Again, colors be popping. <laughs> uh, always like that border right here. Just really nice. Love it. I just love the old school stuff. 
Um, next up we have uh, Captain America number 208 and of course with the Falcon so uh, just a really cool too. I don't know who uh, this monster is here but yeah this Kirby art is just delicious. What can I say? I eat it up. I eat it up. And then this was definitely a highlight of this lot. De Detective Comics number 307. Oh my goodness. He busted this out and I was like, all right, this lot is mine. Sorry, everyone. <laughs> so yeah, I just love this little corner right here with all three of them. Oh, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. God, just so classic. Oh man, Alpha the Experimental Man. Just, oh my god. So glad to have that. Very, very cool. And then Manny was nice enough just to throw this one in, like last minute. Um, this, was, this is the All-American Tomcat uh, Golden Age. And it's a Charlton publication. I don't know too much about it to be honest but yeah I mean it's always nice to have those older books like I said earlier so very cool and then he also threw these in um oh, you know what let me just grab this real quick Ugh, there you go we got the Punisher number 218 this is the Netflix photo variant really nice just uh, I haven't watched the show I hear it's amazing but um if you've watched any of my older videos you know that I'm still watching x-files so <laughs> I tend to just watch one show at a time don't just don't ask but anyway um and last but not least guys this thing here was uh, just a cherry on top he included this cgc um 9.8 book here oh let me adjust this um yeah so very cool to have this um I'm not too much of a um slab collector I I don't really I don't know why I I guess I like handling the books um but I do I can appreciate you know the collectors out there and I, I can see the draw. I think it's awesome to have a book graded and just know what the grade is right off the bat. And just to preserve the book is always nice too. So um, yeah, it's always, I mean, cool to have one of these. I think I have two others besides this one. Um, so yeah, my, my collection isn't too big, but um, this is a nice little addition. So yeah, very cool that he um, included this in the lot. Uh, and if I, I didn't say it earlier, but this is, uh, Punisher number one, um, Marvel Knights, and I forgot who did this cover, um, Tim Bradstreet, that's who it is, so, yeah, really neat, and, yeah, just very cool lot, thanks so much, Manny, um, you definitely hooked it up with these, uh, got a great deal so uh we'll definitely <laughs> going be uh visiting the uh nyc warrior or no the ny warriors um in their auction next time so very cool um and then moving right along here we have a couple of newer books um you know i usually don't get new stuff um but once in a while i do like just supporting the local comic shop and not just always getting dollar books. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so here's what I picked up the other day. Let's see if that's still centered. Let me move this down a little bit. Um, there you go. All right, so this is Totally Awesome Hulk, number 23. Um, this is the Frank Cho variant, or I don't think it's a variant. I think it's the regular cover. Um, but yeah, it, this one just was a cool pickup because I don't have the original Starenko cover, so this is an awesome swipe to have. So very cool. Moving on, I had to pick up Heifer. Come on, 
these portrait style variants are ridiculous and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I think it's Boom Studios. You guys are just killing it with the, these Rocco's Modern Life books. I just, ugh, I can't have enough. So definitely an awesome pickup. Um, and yeah, I did get these all at cover. So pretty decent. Um, this is Batwoman number 11. Really cool. Uh, I think this is, who is, oh God, I think this is Michael Cho, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah. I always love me a really good Batwoman cover, so how to snag that. I love the black and the red contrast. Beautiful, beautiful. So, and then speaking of beautiful, of course I had to grab the Art Germ Supergirl number 16. Just amazing. Um, what can you say about this? I just love that like yellow hue that she has. Just beautiful, beautiful stuff. So yeah, you guys, you guys have seen this several times, I'm sure. So I'll just go right through it. Um, Supergirl number 17, again, our germ, sweet cover. And this I found in their uh, back issue bin. And I hadn't seen this one before. So I had to snag it because it's just awesome. I love it. I... You know, I haven't been reading Rebirth right now, but I know what's been happening just because I hear you guys mention it in your videos and stuff. And I know like these two got engaged and whatnot. So I just, I like the idea of it. So yeah, I saw this cover and I'm like, yeah, I dig that. So how to pick that up. The artwork looks gorgeous on it too. I don't know who did that, but um, yeah, I don't recognize the name there so if anyone knows just let me know because I really like that but okay and last but not least for my uh, LCS pickups it was this flash number 38 Matina variant um hello had to pick that up just gorgeous gorgeous cover as usual coming from Matina so yeah and you guys have seen that about a bajillion times too so it's gonna move right along all right, guys, and that's about it for my hauls, but I do want to announce my uh, giveaway. So as you all know, the way I do things is every 100 subscribers or so, I will hold a series of giveaways. So I call it my PDC giveaway marathon. And whenever you see that hashtag, on the title of my video, that's when you know that I'm holding a giveaway. So I do it for about four to five videos. And it's just so that I could spread the love a little bit and not just give one person a, a prize. I just like to give um, several people prizes. So um, in this video, I will show you what the prize will go is gonna be. Um, this is actually, a set of comics and two trade paperbacks. So let's get into it before I run out of room on my phone. <laughs> so first up we have Vampirella number one. This is signed by Anthony Marquez, the um, artist on this. I think this is a beautiful cover. I got this from the BAM box. Um, this was an exclusive to their box. Uh, just gorgeous. I really do enjoy that. But, you know, I have to find some stuff to give you guys. So um, I don't mind giving it away to one of you all. Next up, we have Kiss number one. And this is also signed. Um, and let me see. It says back here on the COA. It's uh, signed by John Lucas, who I'm guessing did this exclusive cover here. And then... Oh, the Vampirella also has a COA back here, too. So, very cool stuff here. Giving those away. Um, also giving this Dead Drop by Valiant. This is number one. This is the B cover. And it's also signed by Adam Gorham. And, uh, yeah, so giving that away. Giving another signed... Um, book 
This is number one, a uh, Weird World number one, and it's signed by Mike Del Mundo, who did this uh, variant cover. So, yeah. See you away there, and see you away there. So, that's cool stuff. Moving on, these are just kind of like readers, like you guys. You, you guys who are interested in dabbling in other uh, books that maybe you normally wouldn't have or say you're like a, you're a Batman person or a, I don't know, you're into the Flash books or something. This will be a nice little lot to kind of, uh, I don't know, expand your horizons, I guess you could say. So going to be including uh, Amazing Spider-Man number 382, number 358, and these are all um, bag leak covers, so um, Ultimate Spider-Man number 63, number 64, Awesome Carnage cover, and number 97, Scorpion. Got number one, uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one. Um, this is the Ramos, Ramos artwork. Really cool. We have the Flash, the faster, fastest man alive. This is number two. These are just random um, doubles, you know, I had that I could uh, give away. This is the Justice League of America number 11. Michael Turner cover. And got Injustice League of America number 13. This is an awesome cover with a bunch of different villains on there. Very cool. We have a random Aquaman number 30 from the New 52. I always love that cover. And then we have Green Lantern Corps number 30 from the New 52. We have, this is just like a sample DC Comics Essentials of um, Batman and Robin. Number one, we have one of those Halloween Comic Fest giveaways here. This was of The Long ha Halloween. Um, again, just stuff that you might want to give a shot or just see if you like it or not. Um, just kind of like a big sampler lot. And then also including the DC Legion of Collectors exclusive comics here. I'm not a huge fan of the pop covers, but I know some people are, so might as well give them to somebody who appreciates them more than I do. Um, I did keep a couple of them, but these are some that I'm going to be giving away. So, there you go. And then, last but not least, on top of all those comics, you will be receiving this greatest uh, Joker stories ever told. Just has a lot of the classic Joker stories in here. Very nice, and they're all um, just old school stuff. So yeah, Good look, Red Hood, just neat stuff in here. You know, if you ever want to catch up on some of the older stuff, um, or if you don't want to like mess with your older books, older Golden and Silver Age books, you can just crack into one of these babies. And then lastly, we have uh, the greatest Batman stories ever told to accompany the Joker book. So here we go. Just to give you a little preview here. These are always just nice. Um, very easy reads. Good to know some background on your favorite heroes, right? So yeah. Definitely cool books to have. And that's about it, guys. Um, that 
will be the giveaway for this video. If you want to enter, all you got to do is answer this question. Where do you see your collection going in 2018? How will it be different than it has been before? That's all you guys got to do. If you don't collect comics and you still want to enter, then just let me know who your favorite superhero is. Easy as that. And then, um, you, you, obviously you have to be sub to me. You have to be um, 18 or older. And go ahead and like the video too, even though there's no real way for me to tell that you did so. But, you know. All right, guys, uh, that will be it for this video. I feel like I'm missing something, but I don't think I am. Sorry if I just went through it real quick, but I have limited space on my phone and that's where I'm recording. So, all right, guys, um, if you like this video, give me a like or subscribe or both. I don't hate it. And you can also catch me on Twitter and on Instagram, Instagram <laughs> at pop.comics. And I guess I'll catch you all over there. Later.